So both the Soundcore Motion X600 and the Soundcore Motion X500 sound very spacious because they both have these upward firing drivers and in general both of these speakers are very good and they're both very elegant. But today we are going to compare the Soundcore Motion X600 to the X500 because these two speakers are very similar to one another. Regarding pricing, the Soundcore Motion X600 has a retail price of $200 but this speaker likes to go on sale for $150. $50 from time to time. And then there's the Soundcore Motion X500, which has a retail price of $170, but it likes to go on sale for $130. Nonetheless, both of these speakers are good, and if you want to pick either of these two speakers up, they'll be linked down below, or you can always press on the YouTube shopping button. And if you want to further support the channel, pick up a big head approved hat, link down below. We've got trucker hats and snapbacks. By buying a hat, you help the unbiased and unsponsored videos coming, and it also helps us cover more products and produce more versus videos. Thank you to everyone who's already bought a hat, and look out for more designs coming soon. And also, please remember to hit that like button and let's get subscribed. Now first, there's the design of these speakers, and while both of these speakers are very similar to one another, both of these speakers are relatively thin, but the X500 has a smaller footprint, but it is a little taller. But besides that, both of these speakers have their built-in carrying handles, so they're very easy to take on the go with you. They both have IPX7 ratings, meaning that water isn't a problem for either of these two speakers, and both of these speakers have a mostly metal body, which I feel looks very elegant. But personally, I wouldn't take either of these two speakers on the go with me to the beach or into the woods because I would personally hate to get their metal bodies scratched. Now, when it comes to tech specs, both of these speakers have an advertised battery life of 12 hours. However, this advertised battery life of 12 hours is with both of these speakers playing at 50% volume and with their stock EQs. Real world use, if you were to use these speakers at 80% volume, then they're both going to be good for around 6 hours to playback time, which is not bad. Now, 6 hours of playback time on these speakers is good, and given the X500's size and just overall output, I would say that the battery life on the Soundcore Motion X500 is decent. However, I do feel that due to the X600's larger size, I do wish that the speaker had a larger built-in battery inside so that its battery life would last longer. And then this way, if you're trying to choose between the Motion X600 and the Motion X500, it would have been more of a compelling reason to upgrade to the Motion X600 because it would have a larger battery that would give it a longer lasting battery life than the X500. Now when it comes to charging these speakers, both of these speakers charge via a USB-C port as they should. But the X600 is the only speaker here that has an audio jack, whereas the X500 doesn't. So if you want, you can always use a wired connection with the X600, whereas with the X500, you can only use it wirelessly. So depending on your setup, you might want to go with the X600 over the X500. But when it comes to Bluetooth connectivity, both of these speakers are using Bluetooth 5.3, but more importantly, both of these speakers can be connected to two devices at the same time, so you and a friend can both be DJ. And when it comes to audio codecs, both of these speakers have support for SBC and AAC, which is very standard, but both of these speakers also have support for Sony's LDAC, so you are going to get more detail in your music. However, if you do want to use LDAC, you do have to be an Android user because iPhones top out at AAC. Also, if you want to use LDAC, Deck, you do have to turn LDAC on through the Android app and if you do decide to use LDAC then that is going to take an additional toll on the battery life. But with all of that out of the way, let's talk about sound. Regarding speaker setups, both the X600 and X500 have upward firing drivers which help the speakers sound very open. They both have dual front firing drivers and they both have dual passive radiators that shoot out the front and back. But what the X600 has over the X500 is that it also has a pair of a dual from referring tweeters. Now what these tweeters do is that it helps the X600 to have a better instrument separation because the highs are going to sound more detailed and the mids are going to sound more detailed as well because the mid range drivers don't have to worry about the highs. Whereas with the X500s, since it doesn't have tweeters, its drivers have to put out both the mids and highs. But now we're going to jump into the sound test. Both of these speakers are playing at 87% volume and they're both using their signature EQs. Don't need to make 
So first off, both of these speakers sound good and they both sound very open thanks to their upward firing drivers. However, these speakers do have noticeable performance differences. First off, when it comes to max volume performance, the X500 is a 40 watt speaker and the X600 is a 50 watt speaker, meaning that both of these speakers get decently loud for their size. But the X600 does get a little louder than the X500, but max volume aside, the X600 also sounds more open than the X500 thanks to the additional tweeters which allows the X600 to pass off the highs to the tweeters and the mid-range drivers can focus on the mids. Whereas since the X500 doesn't have tweeters, its mid-range drivers have to produce both the mids and highs. So the X500 sounds a little narrow when compared to the X600. Overall, when it comes to choosing between the X500 and X600, you're basically having to decide if you want more detail and more volume. Personally, I would go for the X600 because it does sound more open, but I feel your more casual user is going to be just as happy with the X500 even though it might not sound as open. But finally, let's talk about pairing these speakers up with other speakers. Now, with both of these speakers, if you have two of the exact same speakers, you'll be able to wisely pair them up and get them to play in left and right stereo mode. So your music is going to sound louder because you're gonna have two speakers going, but also your music is going to sound more spacious because you're gonna have one speaker for your left channel and another speaker for your right channel. However, you can only wisely pair up two of the exact same speakers. Unfortunately, you cannot mix and match speakers here. So you cannot connect a Motion X600 with a Motion X500 like I have here. And you also can't connect, for example, your Motion X600 to a Motion 300 or to a Motion 100. So with all that being said, both the Soundcore Motion X600 and Soundcore Motion X500 are very elegant looking speakers and they both sound fairly open thanks to their additional upward firing driver. However, if you're trying to choose between the Motion X500 and Motion X600, the difference here is very nuanced. From a performance standpoint, the X600 gets a little louder because it's a 50 watt speaker versus a 40 watt speaker, and the X600 sounds a little more open because it has those additional tweeters, which helps it give it more detail in the highs. And the X500 also has an audio jack if you want to use it with a wired connection. Personally, I think what the X600 really needs is a larger battery. If you made it this far, I guess you enjoyed the video, so hit the like button and get subscribed. If you want to pick any of the products up, they'll be linked down below. And if you want to further support the channel, check out the merch. I made some shirts and hoodies that look and feel great. And you know I can be very particular, so I'll only slap my name on something if I'm really proud of it.